Hey friends, so I know some of you were unable to open this simulation for the electroscope that we're using for today's lab. So I wanted to go through exactly what you should see. Um, we'll do it in class together as well, but I wanted you to have a video so you could rewatch it if you needed to. Um, so this first part, I wanted to just explain what an electroscope is. So it basically is this little jar that is insulated, so it's usually a glass, so it doesn't collect, um, conduct charge through this outer shell here. And then this part in the middle is metal. At the very bottom, there's these two very thin um, leaves of copper. Um, so they're very conductive and they're very lightweight. And they're both attached to this uh, larger metal um, pin. So for questions three through six, it says to move the positively charged rod near the upper disc of the electroscope, but do not touch it. So I'm going to take this positive rod and I'm going to bring it close to the electroscope, but I'm not going to touch it. And you see when I do that, that negative charges come to the disc at the top and that basically depletes the two copper leaves of electrons, they both become positively charged. Since they have the same charge, they push each other away. Um, so that should be enough to help you answer questions three through six. For questions for question seven, it says move the negatively charged rod near the upper disc, but don't touch it. So the same thing that we just did, but now we're doing this with the negative rod. Um, and then it asks you to explain the similarities and differences between what happened with the positive rod and what happened with the negative rod. So you can see with the negative rod here, um, the electrons from the disc at the top are repelled down onto the leaves. So now both leaves are negatively charged. That should let you answer number seven. For questions eight and nine, it says take the positively charged rod and touch it to the upper disc of the electroscope. So now I'm actually going to touch it. You can do this a couple times. And you can see that now um, the entire metal assembly of the electroscope has become positively charged. So that should let you answer questions eight and nine. Now we're gonna reset the simulation. And it says take this is for 10 and 11, take the negatively charged rod and touch it to the upper disc of the electroscope. So you can see now how this charged the electroscope. So that should let you answer questions 10 and 11.